Hi everyone. My name is Sheyi Fredjadetola. I'm a gospel filmmaker. I'm a producer. I'm an actor. I'm a script writer. I'm a content creator. I want you to just do something for me. I have a YouTube channel that is still good. I want you to please subscribe to Sheyi Pedro YouTube channel. Don't just subscribe. Click the notification bell. Like, comment, and share these editing videos that we have on our YouTube channel. By this, you are helping us, you are encouraging us, and you too, I'm so sure you'll be blessed. So please, in any way you can support this channel to grow, don't hesitate to do it. Don't hesitate to introduce this YouTube channel even to your friends, your families, your loved ones, including your enemy. That is if you have one. And please, just subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless. I can't hide this thing from you. Oh, I can make it to you, Savior, and not ashamed. Oh, Savior, save me now, I pray. Save me now, I pray. Save me now, I pray. How are you today? Good to see you. So, I'm Dr. Mrs. J.O. Ajayi. We know, ma. Ah, really? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, you stand up. What? I said you stand up. What do you know about me? Well, you are Dr. Mrs. Ajayi, and you'll be taking us entomology. That is EMT 201. And you are a Christian. I'm a Christian, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, that part of introduction is very, very important. And I'm sure your senior colleagues would have told you one or two things about me. And I'm sure you all know me to be one of your lecturers in this department. So, but officially, we're just meeting for the very first time. Don't worry. I will soon know the name of everybody. My name is Dave. Who asked you? <laughs> you need to know, ma. I don't want to know him. <laughs> oh, I see. Anyways, now that you all know that I'm a Christian, you would not mind me preaching with my curse. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Today is Monday and we are having double period. I'm sure you will enjoy the class. Mm? No problem. So I want to believe we all know what entomology is. Yes. Yes. So what is entomology? This is the story of insects. Good, beautiful. So today we shall be looking at a particular insect called um, The praying mantis. Of course, it belongs to the kingdom. Himalaya. Phylum. Tropoda. Class. Insecta. Oh, see. You see? Your pen is not working. Your, what's it called? It's not working. I will dictate it for you. So, so saying we have kingdom, kingdom, Malimalia, yes, um, phylum, atropoda, class, insecta. It belongs to super order Dictoptera. Do you get that? Super order Dictoptera, order Mantodia. And you see, the largest family is the Mantidae. The largest family is the Mantidae. So mantises are widely distributed in the tropical and temperate habitats. There are some important things I want us to know about these praying mantises. Number one, they have great vision. A very wide vision. I can see far into my future. I can see a great prayer city. A so very great prayer city. I can see airports filled with private jet, the most expensive one you could ever see of men of God. The rest of Papa Deboe, 
like, like, like Joshua say, man, just come in to worship, to pray. I can see angels, tabernacle, with us. Oh, yeah. Then another, another. I can see myself uh, having a great prayer revival, prayer crusade all over the continent, Asia, Malaysia, North Korea. I can see far into my future. I can see a great city. You can think, Hayaka, Kato Shapalia. This vision is so great. Oh, God. This is wonderful. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see them? You have a great vision. Your dreams are very wide. Hmm. Hmm. Good way. See somebody's dreams. Hmm. Obviously, Peter is going to be great. But what about me? I also want to be great too. Definitely, you know, with this my shallow dreams. What are you saying? Uh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> save me now, I pray. Save me now, I pray. Save me now, I pray. Number two, they are head turners. Mantises are the only insects capable of turning their heads from side to side. Being able to turn its head without moving the rest of its body is a key advantage for a mantis when hunting, allowing for minimal movement as it sneaks up on prey. Three, they are agile like cats. They have been found to jump with extreme precision, contorting their body meter to land on a precarious and specific target. Brother! Ah. They make swift work of their prey. Did you get that? They make swift work of their prey. So praying mantises wait to ambush. Or, you know, they patiently stalk their prey. Mm. And once they are ready to strike, ah, they do so with the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And you know what they used to attack? They attack with their big front legs. They do so quickly, and it's so hard to see with the naked eyes. You look deep inside within, more than at what appears around. Everything that is hidden will be found out someday. I can't hide this thing from you. Oh, I come naked to you, save your hand, not ashamed. Oh, save your save me now, I pray. They are masters of these guys. Praying mantises are supremely gifted in camouflage. Hallelujah. Sister Jane, you are right on time. You see, God was just helping us with uh, the how that we need to leave our body as an holy temple of God. You know, actually, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Don't you know that your body is the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in our midst? And the verse 17 actually says that, uh, you know, our body, whosoever destroyed the temple of God, that place that God will destroy. Mm. And our body is so sacred. And God is so, so faithful. Hallelujah. Can you, can you believe God has just helped us wonderfully? His presence was mighty. Oh, glory to God. Oh, Abby, what are you saying, Sister Belumi? Hallelujah. See, God is so sweet. Oh. That is how God helped people of God with his word. 
But anyway, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, we adore you for this beautiful moment. They only eat live food. They don't eat anyone or just anything. However, they are not picky eaters. Ah, hey, come, come, come here. Are you just coming to the class when I'm almost rounding up a double period lecture? I'm sorry. Ma'am. Sorry about what? So why are you just coming? I was <laughs> He was praying. <laughs> you were praying? I mean, you were praying when you know you have a lecture? No, that's nonsense. It's not funny. That's hypocrisy. Ah, doing the right thing at the wrong time is hypocrisy. You truly need the wisdom of God to balance things, you know? I mean, you know you have lecture. You are praying where you know you, 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 you're supposed to be walking. What's that? That is not spirituality, yo. That is not spirituality. It is mere religion. Doing the right thing at the right time is wisdom. And I will never take such again in my class. Is that clear? Coming to the class. So as I was saying, Holy Spirit, you. Hello? What's your name? Peter Martins, ma. Peter Martins, the praying Martins. Ah. <laughs> you again? So why did you call him praying Martins? I didn't call him praying Martins, ma. I said praying Martins because he loves prayer. Praying Martins, praying Martins. Everything at PM. I've been now. <laughs> I will still come back for you. Hmm? Pray matters. Be careful. Pray matters. Be careful. So to the class, I will give you time to write the last point we just mentioned now before I interrupted us. So write it, just develop it on your own. Write something. Hypocrite. He has been doing it for long. But now his time is up. He has been covering his secret sins with mere spiritual exercise and activities. But an end has come to search. It disgusts me. That is what many of them do. Their secret places are too dirty to be old, but they look spiritually clean outside. Who is deceiving who? Are they deceiving their God? Or our own master devil. That is not possible. We cannot be deceived and God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever you sow, you shall reap. No one, I say no one can sow the seed of sin and expect to reap the fruit of righteousness. Never. Because you have not honored God in your heart. God has given you over to a reprobate mind to do that which is not convenient. Peter, <laughs> Your harvest is open shame. So, they do have their own predators too. And the last point for today is that they engage in sexual cannibalism. They engage in what? Sexual cannibalism. That is, the male praying mantis do not always survive the mating season. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, 13, between 13 and 28% of mating encounters end with what? Sexual cannibalism, which I call glory cannibalism. Why? You see, the female, the, the female praying mantis, they do what? They bite off and eat the head of their male partners during the what? During this sexual intercourse. In a 2016 study, Researchers found that females that cannibalize their male partners, they produce significantly more eggs than what? Than those that did not. Do you understand that? The females that cannibalized their male partners, they significantly produced more eggs than those who did not. And that suggests that their cannibalistic behavior may increase the chance of reproductive success. Do you know it is like that with some men? 
there is something we call spiritual sexual cannibalism in men too. Whereby some men, they have lost their glory to the glory hunters by sleeping with different kinds of ladies. Same with ladies too. They cut off their destiny and these ladies, these demonic ladies, demon possessed ladies, you know, they become more resourceful and relevant in their kingdom by the numbers of glory they consume and submit. Nothing is cheap. Nothing is free. There is always a price to pay on every action. Yes, someone just needs to pay the price. Peter Martin. Why must you pay for your sin with your own blood when Christ has actually paid for you? Stop sinning. Ask for forgiveness of your sin. Confess your sin to Jesus before this destruction that is looming over your head come to pass. Ma, don't be this kind of brother you're going to give that kind of summer. Peter. Peter is a genuine born again Christian. Uh, he's a prayer. Mr. Fire, don't bl blast him, brother. Oh my God. What can a strange sister do to him? Don't tell me that kind. Probably you are talking, you may be talking to um, GD, you know. It'd be like saying, Baba, don't tell me that kind of thing, though. You will be like, I'm dead. 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 i am Overhyping will not allow some so-called big men of God, just like Peter. Your overhyping will not make them repent. Because they don't want to disappoint you, not minding that they are disappointing God. You are contributing to their destruction. Unfortunately, sin of adultery has become a norm, even among Christian married men. Not to talk of fornication, it's just a normal thing nowadays. I hope they will not be a victim of sexual cannibalism before they repent and turn to their God and their spouse. I'll see you in the next class, by God's grace. So we continue from there. Any question? No, no question. Oh, better. Good. He has gone, he has gone. Why? He's not feeling too well. In fact, I'm on my way to go and see him. Hey! That sickness is in trouble. Now, don't Papa Peter take commode sickness come over for your body. For sure, for sure, now, no man. I trust him. He's such a powerful man of God. In fact, I desire to see him more. On the contrary, I'm having this kind of strange feeling because to, the essence of today's class was based on him. And I'm having this kind of urge to visit him more gently. Well, I don't mind going with him, although I want to see him for something else. But you know, your feeling might be, might actually be wrong. Really? Yeah, because uh, Papa Peter is such a powerful man of God. He's more than all these things. You know what? Maybe I should come along with you. But I doubt if he will give you access. Why? Why? Don't you know that he doesn't open his door whenever he's praying? Seriously? That's yes. true, that's true. Yeah. But let's, but let's just, yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's just be a try.
Bobita. Supreme. Bobita. 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 You look deep inside within more than a water around. Everything that is eating will be found out someday. I can't hide this thing from you. Oh, I come naked to you. Save your head, not ashamed. Oh, save your save me now, I pray. Milo, c'est ce vide de Boroto. Gaba, baba. C'est ce que je Radio de de Boroto de Veneti de Baha. Milo, Fana, Chenina, Manatala, Baba. The Bible says concerning Enoch that he will walk with God. Do you know what it means to walk with God? Can somebody open Genesis chapter 5, verse 24? It is possible, it is possible for a man to walk with God and so much so that what I said to take that man. Paul himself said, I am not ready to be offered up. I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. Peter has fought a good fight. And he has kept the faith. Now, God has said to take him. In fact, I can see him. I can see him. He can see him. With so much glory. So much glory. Ah, can you pray? That's all right, you are going to pray. Papa Peter. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, I am actually seeing Papa Peter. You're right. Yes. 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 And agony. Yes. I'm seeing Papa Peter in great regret. Yes. He's in pain. He's not in a good place. So. Yes. Oh, 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 Are you bad again? Bro John! I doubt your salvation. How can a prayerful brother like Brother exactly. Peter end up in hell? Yes! My sister, it is possible. A careless, prayerful brother can end up in hell. Let us not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, the man shall reap. God is not moved by the things that we do in the open. I mean by our open spiritual activities. God is moved by the things that we do in the secret places. What do you do in your secret places, brothers and sisters? Is it masturbation? Is it envy? Is it jealousy? Is it pornography? Is it disobedient to parents? Is it hatred that you keep in your heart? Scripture said that those that do this thing cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You see, 
let us remember that even when no man sees us, God in heaven, he sees everything that we do. And it is high time that we repent and then do what? Forsake all these things so that we will not be judged. Brothers and sisters, in the last days, what will be your testimony? What will be my testimony? When God is speaking to the men that are long gone, and when God is praising great men, what will he say about you? What will he say about me? Can we pray for God's mercy? And that God's help us live a life And the Bible says that if a man sows to the flesh, you will by the flesh live corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, you will by the spirit reap everlasting life. And that is the essence of why Jesus came. Jesus said, I have come to give you life in abundance. We cannot get that life with secret sins, brothers and sisters. Can we pray for mercy? Oh God, have mercy. Open us, have mercy. Can we pray for mercy? As we drop our sins, can we pray for mercy? There's no man here. Ha. Ha. <laughs> you go. I'll hey. follow you.
tempest rage below rise and to turn my heart away. Yes, at the count of three. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ah, 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 no, 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 What no, do no. we do now? What yeah. do we do? This is just the end of... Eh? Maybe ah. she just... Baba, there is trouble. We are in trouble. Obviously, we have come to the end of the world. I mean, how do we survive this? How do we survive the poverty, the attacks, the terrorism, insecurity? Onga, how do we? We have had so many bad revelations about this job. Yes. And they are manifesting already. Ah, we are afraid. Papa, we are afraid is an understatement. We are scared. Scared to the marrow. Maybe we should go back. <laughs> do not fear. Walk with me. not working with me. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't get it. We've been working with you together. We've been working with you all this while. You can only speak for yourself. He was only working with me, with his body. And his spirit is far from him. Wait now. Working with me requires your spirit, soul, and body. And also with a perfect heart. Just like you, so many people believe Joseph was working with me because they are looking at him from afar. I know that he was not working with me. He knows that he was not working with me. And the devil knows that he was not working with me. He covered up with his work for me. And I don't accept the work of anyone who has no relationship with me. <sighs> now I understand. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. But, is it over for Joseph? No. When there is life, there is hope. He needs to believe, rise from his fall, and work with me. My soul follows hard after you. Your right hand upholds me. You carry my presence with you when you walk with me. My presence is light. All your fears represent darkness. 
they dare not stay in the presence of light through the journey of life. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not work in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Oh.